So, BL Heli 32.7, maybe BL Heli 32.8, maybe test code BL Heli 32.83, how to flash it. Let me call my BL Heli expert. Hey man. I need this freaking cord. 32.7, 32 32.7, but maybe 32.8, 32.8, I don't know. Just 32.7, it's been good to go. We've been using it, 32.8, variable, min and max, PWM. I don't freaking know. Gotta take my props off, my props off. I don't know what to do. What am I gonna do? This one, that one, the other one? I just don't know! Bill Haley 32.8 was released about a year ago, introducing variable PWM for Bill Haley 32 users. Some ESC manufacturers have been already pre-flashing Bill Haley 32.8 version, maybe for last half year. But this is not always good. Let me show you something. Here is why. So on the left side, this is Bill Haley 32.7. On the right side, it's Bill Haley 32.8. And this is the RPM plot of the four motors spinning at full throttle. And you can kind of see that on the right side, BL Heli 32.8 version, the RPM readings are a little bit more noisy. It is a little bit even more obvious if we scroll to the left where motors are spinning at idle. And you can see BL Heli 32.7 gives a pretty clean RPM readings, whereas BL Heli 32.8 is not so clean and this is this this gets even worse if you if we scroll a little bit there and you can see bl heli 32.8 sometimes gives even some weird spikes in the rpm readings rpm readings is the data that esc sends to the flight controller to beta flight and beta flight uses this data to figure out how fast your all four motors are spinning and to set up the notch filters exactly on the frequencies of the spinning motors. And with these RPM filters, your motors are cooler, your filter delay is smaller, and everyone is just happy. And that's why extra RPM reading noise on BL Heli 32.8 is not very good. For most of people, it's fine. Some people don't even notice anything, but I've seen people reporting that they cannot even fly on 32.8 and they have to go back to 32.7. Of course, I'm not the one who noted this problem. In summer 2021, Mr. Jacques Gangloff created an issue on uh, GitHub BLHeli32 showing similar plots and showing that BLHeli32.8 gives more noisy RPM readings. And you can actually see that this problem is not related to variable PWM. He runs fixed PWM and he still sees this problem with Bill Heli 32.8. But let me show you something really cool. Now remember these noisy plots? Now how do you feel about that? And this is Bill Heli 32.83 test code version. 32.83 was released in November 2021. It is not an official stable release. You can see it is still a test code pre-release. So you have to be very careful with that. Put your props off, don't put your face over your drone when you arm it, just all the precautions, you know. So everyone who has BLHeli32 ESC can try this test code version. And we're gonna jump into the flashing process at the end of the video, but let me show you a couple more cool things. For the Freedom Spec competition in Costa Rica, which everyone should go to, I was measuring some um, RPM and comparing different ESC firmware and different ESC settings and I noticed that 32.83 for whatever reason shows a little bit slower RPM readings. Let me show you. So here you can see the blue plot if I zoom it in. The blue plot is 32.83, the red plot is 32.7, they're, they're the same settings. And you can see the blue plot, the blue plots in average are about 0.5% slower. And of course nobody likes slower, so I went ahead on BLHeli GitHub and, and asked a question there. This is the question and... Uh, I got the answer from one of the BLHeli developers and apparently there is nothing to worry about. This is just 
more accurate RPM readings in the Alheli 32.83, which is which is even better. The same developer with the nickname I cannot pronounce, unfortunately, S S K A U G. He was kind enough to share with me some internal algorithms of how they um, a little bit filter the RPM readings. Could be interesting for some people. It's here on GitHub. He also shared with me the link to sort of release notes for BLHeli 32.83 test code. And you can see the first item here is greatly reduced noise, noise level in the D-Shot real-time ERPM data. So that's what we talked about before. Also check that. A new setting for PWM frequency high is added, called by RPM. In this mode, motor PWM frequency is adjusted in a way that it stays away from problematic motor communication frequencies. I think this is pretty cool. I'm not going to speculate if it's the same as M32 or is different, but it definitely sounds cool. And I did a couple of tests on the bench and I think I see slight improvements with this by RPM mode for high PWM frequency. Also this one improved ramp up consistency. I think in my tests I also see that. So, I think give it a try. If you want to read this document, it, it's right there in the, in the description. Now let's flash it. Props off. All the props off. Gotta take my props off, my props off. Also, you need a battery, a USB cable, and the latest BLHeli32 suite. The link will be in the description, but it's pretty easy to find. On the right side, there is just a link to BLHeli32 suite, the latest version. You click there, scroll down, and you can download for Linux, for Mac, and for Windows, and you're just good to go. Download, unzip, open this folder, and launch Bilheli Suite 32. Here we go. Now plug in the battery and USB cord. By the way, check out this cool LED. I got it from the Vinking, a guy from Russia who handmade them. Now find your flight controller here in the ports. And if you don't see it here, you might need to use something like Impulse RC driver fixer or install drivers or try a different cable or try a different USB port. It's always something like that. So once you find it, you can just click read setup and it's reading. It's still reading. When the reading is done, you can check your BLHeli32 version. You see for me it's 32.7 and also you should remember your ESC name is right here at the top. For me it's AK32 pin 4 in 1 success 35M. With this information, you go to GitHub BLHeli32 and on the right side you click releases. Today is January 26, 2022, so I still see 32.83 as a test code. Maybe later they will release it as 32.9, maybe they will release it as 32.83, the real one, but if, if, if you have an official release, you don't need to download anything. You just go here, click uh, flash ESC, and you will see the version here. Now I don't see this version, so I have to download. So I click assets and find my ESC name here. And I find my ESC here. For me it was AK32 pin 4 in 1, not 25 amp, not 25 V2, not 35 V2. It was just 35, 32.83. Click on your ESC file and download it inside of BLHeli Suite folder, inside of BLHeli32 hex files. And do not rename this file. After that, you should restart your BLHeli suite, of course disconnect, or you, or you can just close it. Click read setup again, open ESC flash tab, and you will see a new version, 32.83 test version. If you don't see it, probably you download a wrong version of the hex file. Double check that your battery is still good for next at least couple of minutes while you're flashing ESCs. Double check you have props off. You can select keep settings after flashing and you're good to go. Click flash selected ESCs and it, it will take some time, but it will bring you there. Now when the flashing is done, let's restart the flight controller and the ESC, unplug everything, including USB cable and plug it back. 
connected everything back. Now you can see the version is 32.83 and you have access to the new cool features. For example, PWM frequency high, you can bring it all the way to the right and you will see by RPM. Of course, you need to double check all your settings, especially like a motor direction. For my next video, I'm planning to go through some of these settings for the freedom spec specifically and show the optimal values that I found. So, maybe see you later if I'm not lazy.